Welcome back, everybody. It is Tuesday, so time for a brand new half off dining deal. Our featured restaurant today is Wing Zone. Oh, yeah. Now you can get a $50 gift certificate for just 25 bucks. The half off deal goes live at 1 o'clock. So visit lex18.com slash half off dining to get yours. There are two Wing Zone locations, one on Southland Drive and the other over on Eureka Springs. Yum, yum, yum. What's the flavor you like to order? Well, there's the Buffalo Bliss, yeah. uh, but there's the one, the hot one is, I forget what it's called, Atomic or something like I can't okay. remember. But if I, they bring us it's wings, below Buffalo Brit, Bliss. Br I can't even say it. Buffalo Bliss. <laughs> I, was, I was reaching for my phone because I got the app. <laughs> I ordered right from the app. You've got a wing problem. All right, NBC's drama Law and Order True Crime, The Menendez Murders, wraps up tonight. We know a lot of you guys have been watching it. In mm -hmm. recent years, there's been little heard, though, from the two Menendez brother, brothers since they were convicted of murdering their parents in the 1980s. Well, after a very public trial, Eric Menendez. Men <laughs> we nice. Were, neither we're, one of us could do this. We're killing this Yeah, block, this is like, awesome. Killing we're the We're professional game. broadcasters. Anyway, he now leads a very private life in prison, but now we're hearing about Eric's life today for the first time from an unlikely friend, a juror turned confidant. Colleen Williams reports. I don't care what people feel. I know what it is, and I know it's real. Betty Oldfield, nearly 90, a grandmother and dedicated community volunteer, and best friends with Eric Menendez, one of California's most notorious inmates. Eric and I have adopted one another. He has a new mother, I have a new son. Their friendship began when Betty was an alternate juror on Eric's first murder trial, which ended with a hung jury. In an unusual move, defense attorney Leslie Abramson invited sympathetic jurors to a dinner. And had arranged for Eric to call from the jail. Eric wanted to thank the jurors who believed the brothers. You could see when they testified, the expressions, the tears, they were damaged. He did what he wanted to me, and I couldn't stop that. And I wanted to, but I couldn't. For five months, Betty listened to details of the violent shooting. All I was thinking is, I gotta fire every shot with my gun. And graphic allegations of sexual abuse by his father. I said, Dad, please, please stop. And I said, Dad, you're hurting me. At one point, I just started screaming. Detectives have said they found no evidence of abuse. And yet, you're convinced there was abuse. I convinced that Eric tells the truth, always. Betty believes the brothers were driven to murder. Their childhood was unbelievable. Growing up in a war zone, he has turned his life around so completely. Over the past 23 years, Betty has received hundreds of letters from Eric. I've kept everything he's ever sent me. <laughs> and Betty brags about his achievements like a proud parent. She points to the way Eric signs off as evidence of his softer side and their genuine bond. You are my angel on earth. Truly so. Love, Eric. Colleen Williams, NBC News. All right, stay with us. The pet of the day is coming up next.